everybody. How's it going again? Hope you guys are doing okay out there. Nice weather we have up here in the Midwest. Got a new project for you today. It's called a Tow Defender by Roadmaster. It's model 4750 and I'll put a link in the description below. Basically what this is, it's a netting or screen that goes above your towing mechanism between your rig and your vehicle. I'm going to install that because I thought about putting a rock guard in front of Eugene the Jeep, but then I thought about again the ventilation that goes from heading down the road and is going through the radiator of the Eugene the Jeep. You need some kind of ventilation and that guard up in the front, I thought it will stop, kind of just stop that from happening. So this here might be another alternative for me. And we're going to install this here today. And all the things you're going to need for this here, the items you're going to need, is a pair of gloves, you're going to need some wrenches. I have some universal wrenches right here. And you're going to need a towel. Why a towel? If you're working on anything that's hot or on a hot day, you want to cover it up with a towel. Of course, you want to wipe your sweat off your head. So I'm going to keep my towel handy just in case I need to cover my tools up when they're not in use. And you're going to need it's a knee pad. You're going to need a set of sockets of different types. I'm not for sure what, what we'll be using today, but we'll use some sockets. And last but not least, water. Make sure you have water because today is hot. You never know what can happen. So water is always good for you anyway to stay hydrated. I pulled all of the parts out. The parts that we have here are screws from my left to my right. We have our plate that's going to go on the hitch itself. This connecting rod here with these, these pneumatics right here, they're going to go on the back of the rig. As you can see here is where the hitch will go. This little pole right here, you have two of these here. That's going to connect to the Jeep itself, or not to the Jeep, but like in the front of it. I'll show you that in a bit. We have our screen, and we have our tie downs. Tie downs are for when you roll your screen up behind your rig, you strap them down with this here, or you can use Velcro. And of course, I have my instructions. I kind of read over those prior to this here. I removed the towing mechanism from the drop receiver, and I'm going to install what's called a collar bracket right here. Are you know with the collar bracket? You have this set screw. You have these areas, these little screws here, or areas called high, medium, and low. And I'll explain to you guys in a bit what that means. I'll go ahead and put this collar bracket on the towing mechanism from the Roadmaster. Now I'm going to reinstall this Roadmaster on the drop receiver. I have the hitch pin now locked in nice and tight. This is not going to go anywhere. I have my collar bracket. I got it moving freely. I'm going to leave it just like this here for right now. So I have my screen spread it out. And I'm going just to fold that in like that where this can be the back side. And I have my pneumatic gas struts here. Don't clap them in just yet, which with these pneumatic struts here, the gas struts. Now we're going to feed it through the screen one at a time. And I'll show you what's going to happen once I'm done. I'm going to feed it through the left side. Take your time and I'll do the right side. Go ahead and snap this left side pneumatic arm in. Basically, you just twist this around, give it a little tap, and that's locked in. And I'll do the right side, give it a little tap, and that's locked in. I'll take my collar right here with my collar bracket. And remember earlier, you got your high, medium, and low connectors. Well, you want this here to be basically even with the bottom of the bumper. I'm going to put this here on the top because it looks about right. If I put it too low, rocks can come up like under here. So I'm going to put it on the high setting. I'm going to hand tighten this collar bracket right here. You don't want it too tight because we want to adjust that as we can. Now that I have my Collar bracket just hand tightened for right now. We'll tighten that down once we get this on. I'm going to use my 
38 bolt right here. And we're going to put it on the high setting. All right, we'll do the passenger side. Get that nice and tight. All right. I have the shoulders bolt installed on both of the arms here with the safety pins installed as well. And I, I didn't um, use this inner hole here. I wanted to keep the outer one there. But we can make adjustments as needed down the road. So once we get this here attached to the Jeep, then I'll show you guys if, if this here, if we need to adjust this here to use this hole right here. But we'll find out in a bit. But also, this is a newer type Nighthawk device here for the Jeep. And I wanted to show you, this came with a, some larger screws here. And I have a couple more of different sizes you can use. Depends on you have a Blue Ox or all other brands out there. It just gives you an array of them. I replaced the standard bolt and nut with this more robust one right here with the nylon washers in between. And this gave it a little extra room with this plate here that I had to install and have the nice thicker washer right here. So this is not going to go anywhere. Now that I have my shoulder bolt adapter installed, it's, this is the way it should look. And the support tube is gonna go through, through this little slot right here. And from there, I'm going to install the screen that's gonna go over all of this here. So now I'll take my screen here. You have these little tabs right here. There's a piece of the screen here or they wanted the slots you don't want to cover this part here. So what I did, I put a yellow X with my paint pen, and I did the same thing on this side as well. This is the one I'm going to skip. And these little tabs are for your arms. You don't want to take your support tubes to go through the around the arms. You want to go above the arms. I'll start with my female side of my support tube and it has a little cap on the end and it's an opening here with your different um, holes to connect. So I'll start here in the middle and when I took mentioned earlier that I'm going to skip the one that has the yellow X on it from my paint pen and I'll just go through each one and once I'm done, I'll show you how it's actually going to look. It's pretty cool. So I'll go here and it will stop. So I'll lay that down and I'll start with my male connector or support tube. And I'll start in the middle like I did with the female. Has a little plunger right there. And I'll do the same thing on this side here, skipping the one with the yellow X. So if I'm correct, it's going to all line up. And once I'm done, I'll take my support tube, and you're going to gently turn it where it will lock in to the female to male adapter. It'll just plunge in like that. You heard a little click. So now if we got that done with the support tube, there are now one. Now I'll take my support tubes. I'm gonna gently put them inside the shoulder bolt adapters. And now once they're inside, now I can light them up with the holes which now I can lock them in. I'll take my cotter's pen or my safety pen and I'll go through one of the holes that will match up. I'll do the same for this side here. Gotta get a little persuasion. Put that through. 
lock it in done you want to make sure your jam nut right here is locked with this bolt right here 3 8 inch bolt make sure that's nice and locked this way this doesn't go sliding back and forth and once that's nice and tight which I have tightened it already you tighten that and basically you're done with this project by having this shield here will be much better than what I was going to do initially is have a screen or a cover in front of the front of Eugene the Jeep but I thought about maybe I wouldn't do that because this way it can have a little ventilation when I'm heading down the road with that screen up it'll be like blocking the any airflow going inside of the engine I just want to take any chances of hitting the road so I figured this here would be much better this defender in which when I make my turns on the road actually any kind of turns or bends this is going to bend automatically and this way it doesn't impede what's going on back here of the uh, rig or near the front of the Jeep so I think it's pretty cool this is another successful project. I like it because just because of the rocks hitting Eugene the Jeep and this will kind of dissipate any kind of road debris hopefully that will stand up to the test of time. But what I'll do, I'll bring you guys maybe an update down the road once I'm on the road and show you guys what happens if any kind of thing positive or negative with this tow defender. I'll bring that to you as well. But until then, you guys give me a thumbs up if you like, hit the subscribe button below, and I'll bring you other tips, tricks, ideas, do it yourself, cooking to the channel, and getting close to hitting the road. So anyway, you guys take care of yourself, stay safe out there, see you next time, bye.